Good morning, kids. Today is Palm Sunday. It's a really special Sunday. It's a day that we celebrate the time that people welcome Jesus into Jerusalem by waving their palms and saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And we often talk about Hosanna and what that means. And it means to call on the one who saves, that Jesus is the one that could save them. And they were begging for him to do that. Jesus, save us, save us. But what does it mean to come in the name of the Lord? And so I thought I would look up, what does it mean to come in the name of the Lord? So, But I want you to think of first, a time that maybe a teacher or a coach, or maybe even your parents have asked you to go get the other kids and to tell them to do something. So maybe your coach told you to tell the rest of your team, hey, it's time to come in for, um, for, stretch, for stretching and warmups. And maybe your teacher sent you out and told it it's time to line up. And maybe your dad said, uh, you better tell your brother it's time to come down for dinner. And if you ever went to go do that and you said, hey, hey brother, it's time to come down for dinner and they didn't come right away or your team didn't line up or come in for stretches and, you, and you've paused for a minute and said, hey, dad said to do that or the coach told me to tell you and my, the teacher said to tell you that you better come and line up. And then maybe they had a better response because the message that you came with came in the name of someone who had more authority than you, more power, and they obeyed because you came in the authority and the power and the strength of someone else's name. And so I thought I'd pick a few verses of, from the Bible about the name of the Lord. But interestingly enough, when I went to go look this up, there were a lot of verses in the Bible about the name of the Lord. I knew there'd be some in the Old Testament, but there were so many more in the whole Bible than I even could have imagined. You wanna guess how many? Over 200, 261 times in the name of the Lord, specifically in a word search in the ESV version of the Bible. And so I just picked a few that I thought would be interesting for us. Um, the first one is in the Ten Commandments. We're told that we should not take the name of the Lord, our God, in vain. For the Lord will not hold us anyone guiltless who takes his name in vain. And then also, God talks about his name and how he dwells with us. He says, But you shall seek the place the Lord your God will choose out of all the tribes to put his name and make his habitation or his dwelling there. There you shall go. So God chooses a place that his name can dwell. And over and over, you see God's name. It comes with power and authority. And then it tells us, O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. So when Jesus comes in the name of the Lord, and we give him honor and blessing for that, he comes with the power and the authority of God. And he comes to save us and to save the people, if they're willing, in the power and the name of God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I'll see you guys next week.